while her leader is travelling the country trying to hold his party together, Lee Rhiannon has flown to the Middle East and is crossing into Palestine. When you see it like that, you can see why people call it an apartheid wall. What you see when you arrive in this country is apartheid. From the West Bank to Gaza, people are treated as second-class citizens. Their human rights are ignored or abused. And she's still lobbying political grenades at her party, reviving a campaign to boycott Israeli businesses in Australia, which has seen a backlash against the Greens in the past. There is value in this campaign and it's a reminder why people like ourselves in Australia and many around the world, it's time to reassess this form of struggle because there is very clear examples of the value it brings to solidarity and the results it can achieve.